Um, from Sister Asya Fayyaz says, she says that I wanted to know the three divorces sent via text message at one time. Are they, do they count as one or three divorces? Uh, first of all, we have to understand that Allah the Almighty prescribed the way of divorce as the last resort when the marriage life is impossible and there is no possibility for reconciliation. So Allah the Almighty says, Ya ayyuha nabiyu idha tallaqutumun nisa'a fatallaquhunna li'iddatihinna wa ahsul idda. So even in filing for divorce or giving divorce, one have to follow the sunnah which is prescribed in the Qur'an. The meaning of إِذَا طَلَّقْتُمُ النِّسَاءَ فَطَلِّقُوهُنَّ لِعِدَّتِهِنَّ وَأَحْصُ الْعِدَّةِ That one should not divorce his wife whenever she is minister waited. Nor should he divorce his wife after she is uh, purified from the menses. Then he happened to have sexual relations with her because of the possibility that she may have conceived during this time. So what is the proper way? The proper way, if somebody already decided to give divorce to his wife, he should wait until her period is over. Then, after she's clean from her period, without having sexual relations with her, he may give her talaq. This is one talqa, one divorce. Allah the Almighty says in Surah Al-Baqarah, الطلاق مرتان فإمساك بمعروف أو تسريح بإحسان I like to explain that because a lot of people do not perceive the meaning of الطلاق مرتان You have the right to divorce your wife two times. Each one, each divorce should be filed or uttered or given في طهر لم يجامعها فيه after she has been purified from the menses without having sexual relations. Then, if he wants to divorce her again, that should not be within the same period. Rather, after another period and another purification without having sexual relations. Or, if it is in the same period, if he happened to take her back to the marriage life without a new marriage contract, because this is called طلاق الرجعي revocable divorce after the first and the second divorce that's why Allah said الطلاق مرتان divorce is twice so let's say that the wife is cleaned up from the period on Saturday on the same day he gives her divorce he doesn't have the right to give her another divorce or a third divorce within the same month the same period before experiencing another menses and being clean from the next menses. Why? That's a very important question. I will answer, inshallah, after we take some calls. Um, the previous question, which I was uh, answering, why الطلاق مرتان? And one cannot just say to his wife, you're divorced three times. Oh, you're divorced, you're divorced, you're divorced, in the same sitting or at the same time simultaneously. Why not? The issue of divorce and the issue of al-raja'a, which is the possibility of reconciling after the first divorce and after the second divorce, comes with a package of ahkam to regulate this process. Um, okay, let's take this call. Assalamu alaikum. So when Allah the Almighty says, فَإِمْسَاكُمْ بِمَعْرُوفٍ أَوْ تَسْرِيحٌ بِإِحْسَانٍ When you give divorce, Allah orders you لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن in Surah At-Talaq there is a whole chapter appointed to discuss the issue of divorce it's called Surah At-Talaq the divorce chapter a woman who has been divorced a revocable divorce should not leave her husband's house even if he wants her to leave even if she doesn't want to stay with him لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن Allah orders the husbands who just divorce their wives you do not drive your wives out of their homes ولا يخرجن nor is it permissible for them to leave even if they want to why? that increases the possibility of reconciliation and a woman in this period is recommended to wear the nicest clothes a nice perfume in order to reconcile sometimes when the person says the word of divorce, Satan is very active, 
and he created trouble between the couple, then afterward they regret, both of them. How often? This is very often. Most of the cases of divorce, people come back and say, you know, for some reason I had a misunderstanding with my wife, I had an issue with my wife, and I regret what I did. If it is the second, first divorce, second divorce, there is a possibility of reconciling and revoking your divorce. That's why he said, Imsakum bi ma'roof, you can keep your wife back. Or if you guys have decided that it's impossible to resume your marriage life together, then wait until the idda is over, which is either three periods or three purifications or three months for a woman who doesn't experience the period. So if you simply decided not to reconcile, wait until the idda is over. But to get three divorces in the same setting or in the same tour, that is invalid. So the husband is committing a sin. But whether the divorce is effective or not, that's a, an entirely different concept. Oh, again, inshallah, I will answer after this call. Salam. Now, if a person violated the command of Allah with regards to divorce and the prescription uh, in that regard, and he still said to his wife, you're divorced, you're divorced, you're divorced three times in the same sitting or in different settings, but within the same tuhr, or he said it once, and he said three times, like he said, you're divorced three times, without having to repeat the statement. According to the vast majority of the Muslim jurists, that divorce is effective and it becomes ba'in. So he doesn't have the right to take her back. He doesn't have the right to swallow his word back. Even if he regretted, even if he cried, because it was his fault. What is the reference? A companion by the name Rakana, who divorced his wife, and he said that three times you're divorced. When he came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he regretted, and he felt sorry for what he did, the Prophet وسلم, asked him, he said, Ma arat? What did you intend? He said, I swear to Allah, I only meant to give her one divorce. But I just said it three. One divorce. He said, then he can take her back. It's one. Which means if the person like Rakana or anybody else intended, I'm giving you three divorces with the intention of giving you three divorces, then it becomes effective as three and it becomes irrevocable. Khalafa fi dhalik, another scholar, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah mercy on him, whom many people accuse of being rigid, of being extreme, is giving us a lot of ease, especially in these issues. And he said, even if he says to his wife three times, with the intention of divorcing her three times, it becomes only once, because Allah said, at talaqu marratan, so it becomes vain, and he is liable for the sin of what he said, but the divorce is only once. This is the khilaf, the difference of opinion in this regard, and I just showed you the opinion of the vast majority of the fuqaha in this regard, and stop playing games with divorce. When you type a text message, you're divorced, that's an effective divorce. You pick up the phone and you say you're divorced, effective divorce. You call a friend, you tell her parents, you tell your son, I divorce your mom, that's a divorce. You don't say, I was just scaring her off, or I was just threatening her. That's an effective divorce.